the whole universe is a manifestation of matter and energy this energy drives the existence and is neither created nor destroyed this energy is celebrated in the form of durga who vanquishes negative elements and establishes the balance of good and evil establishes the positive over negative we humans are a speck of that universe and hence we are composed of both matter that's our body and soul that's the internal energy celebrating this energy is not only an emotion of a bengali but it's a way of reminding us to awaken the durga power within to awaken our internal energy and to free our minds from all negativity durga is not only a feminine power durga is our internal construction which is constantly balancing our natural being and our domestication to fit the social structure durga is us durga is within in our mythology when an asura emerged who could not be defeated by the powerful gods like shiva indra vishnu a devi was invoked by all the devas by releasing the goddess from their bodies and merge it to create durga who is greater than all of them individually but who is this asura that durga has to defeat who is this demon god who overpowers all the gods what is this fear that we are fighting if mythology is seen as a proto psychology then durga destroys the slippery shape shifting human ego that seeks dominion over nature but what is this human ego 2500 years ago in the upanishads a word described us as aham aham means how human beings imagine themselves against atma who we really are animals see other animals as a predator mate rival or prey but humans are confused our imagination wipes out all social structure and we are forced into a struggle between our own desires how we want to imagine ourselves and social structures imposed on us how others expect to see us more often we regress into our animal self we want to dominate or be dominated we domesticate others by rules or sometimes be domesticated the tension between mind and nature is the key theme of puran where humans want to invoke the mind as well as domesticate nature this feeling of dominion is mahisha the asura the balance of human mind is what we see in the form of durga we worship the form of durga riding her lion in her unbound hair reveals that she is as wild as kali but her nose ring reveals her in her domesticated form as gauri the weapons in her multiple hands reveal that it offers both protection and can also punish mahisha's defeat is viewed not as a submission but as a realization he breaks free from his limited self indulgent view of the world and internalizes the bigger picture this 
realization is called uddhar or upliftment our aham is the root cause of the problems around us confronting the truth about us is not easy it needs shakti we need to acknowledge that all problems come from fears our own fears and the fears of those around us once we do that we will be able to evoke the durga in us who comforts protects and empowers the frightened tan na 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 na